Obbies, or obstacle courses, are not only one of the most popular genres of Roblox games, but one of the types of games that have been around the longest, as they've been present on the platform in one way or another since October of 2006. In this video, me and my friend Careful are going to take a look at the evolution of Roblox Obbies. Now before we get into the story of the earliest obby on Roblox, I have to talk about the Phoenix Fire Army because it is the reason the first obby existed in the first place. The PF Army or Phoenix Fire Army was a Roblox army in quotes or clan that was founded by Jacob XX Duel, who is now known as Reverse Polarity, a game developer and UGC creator who's been around on the platform for over 15 years. The army was founded in August of 2006, and at this point in time, only one game could be created per account. So when Reverse Polarity wanted to make a training course of sorts for all the members of the Phoenix Fire Army, the account PF Trang CPT was created, and its starter place was turned into what is now technically considered the first obby ever. What you are looking at right now is technically the earliest Roblox obby in history. This game was built in October of 2006, and while it's confusing by 2021 Roblox's standards, very poorly built, and more, this is it. Back then, obbies also weren't called obbies. For most of 2006, they were referred to as training courses. For most of 2007, they were referred to as obstacle courses. And the name obby only started appearing around late 2007 and early 2008. Now, the second obby ever was actually lost to time for almost 14 years, as it was replaced with some random game in 2007. This game is Draco Swordmaster's training course. The game was created a few days after the Phoenix Fire training course, which may look familiar because I've talked about a clone of this place named Builder Dude's Place, technically being the first real obby on Roblox, in my 15 minutes of useless Roblox information video. It's a very, very simplistic amateur Roblox obby by today's standards. Half the map is a green base play, and the lava is actually a red block you can just walk through, but it's still something. The third and fourth obbies ever were both created in November of 2006, and were some of the first of its kind to not be referred to as training courses. The third was Builder Dude's Place, which is actually just a clone of Draco's training course for his army, except with modified obstacles and random purple bricks in the sky. The reason Builder Dude's Place was thought to be the first Roblox obby for some time was because the second obby that it basically copied was lost for years and no one knew what the game looked like but only the name and the story of the game. The fourth obby ever was Lava Rush being created a few days later. It was much more complicated and consists of trying to get to the top of the map before the rising lava kills you, much like future games like Volcano Escape. Now fast forward to April of 2007, one of the most important obstacle courses for the time was created, Waffle Boy's Obstacle Course. This obstacle course was featured in part of the Roblox blog, which led to it becoming a pretty popular game. It may not be as true now, but this obstacle course was incredibly challenging. This was for multiple reasons. One, the Roblox physics and movement were very different. When you jumped onto a platform, your feet would dip slightly below the platform, causing you to die if there was any lava too close to the platform. And sometimes stuff like this would happen. Back when the Roblox blog had a comment section under every blog post, people had talked about how they could barely get one third the way through the obstacle course, let alone past the very first obstacle. This game was actually lost for years as it was replaced by a game called Destiny Squares sometime around late 2007. The only reason I'm able to play it is because of ModNark's archive of over 10,000 games from 2007 to 2008, containing one of the early versions of Waffle Boy's Obstacle Course from around August of 2007. One huge misconception is that the first obby on Roblox was created in June of 2007 by Dark Silver 2. This started because of one of Kaneko Kitten's videos from 2018 talking about the earliest obbies on Roblox. While this does give us a good look at what the average obby looked like at the time, it was actually not the first obby. Also, one important thing that happened around this time was the first YouTube video of an obby. This video was uploaded on July 3rd, 2007, and shows us the YouTube user Lego Maple touring their obstacle course by the name of Highest Stairs Ever. 
It is now August of 2007, this is also the point in time where the breakout or escape the blank genre of Abby started to pop up. Some of the earliest include WFMP's Rusty 2 Prison Breakout that was published in August of 2007, and Be Cool's Escape the School Game which was published in October of the same year. It is now January of 2008 and obstacle courses are quickly becoming one of the most popular genres of Roblox games. It was quite common to see multiple brand new obbies on the front page every day. It was also around this time that people started using the term obby. While it wasn't used much, the earliest sightings of the term appeared around January of 2008 as a shortened version of Obstacle. The first video on YouTube to have the word obby in the title that was related to Roblox is Random Obby Course which was uploaded on April 28, 2008 by Gara90009. The game in the video is the Cheating Obstacle Course by Patchy the Destroyer. It also features some very amazing and skillful gameplay moments, such as 58 seconds into the video. It's 2009 and 9 times out of 10 when you went on the games page and looked at the most popular games at the moment, you'd find at least one obby. Not much happened evolution-wise for 2009 other than the rising popularity of obby. There are three standout obbies that I feel like need to be mentioned from this era. Polyhex's Roblox Adventure 2, Audi 80's Wipeout Obby, and a Seamount 3089, longest obby of 2009. Roblox Adventure 2 is a story-based platformer that was created in 2009 by Polyhex. They're also the same person that made Super Bomb Survival and a slew of other games from the same era. The game was inspired by games like Super Mario Galaxy and technically counts as an obby, and the creator even posted videos to a YouTube alt showing off the progress they've made on parts of the game. All you get when you win is the super jump, teleport, and an ice path, but only the ice path works because this game is from 2009. Wipeout Obby by Audi80 is just an obby that was based off of Wipeout which nobody could have guessed from the title. That was actually one of the most popular obbies on the website for a while and I'm pretty sure is the first obby that I ever played personally. Also, it really does look very much like an obby from the early 2010s and late 2000s. The longest obby of 2009 was at one point the longest obby on Roblox. The game has 65 stages compared to the previous record of only 32 obstacles, over doubling the previous record. This game was also made by a CMO 3089 who is one half of the team that made Jailbreak. One of the most common complaints about the game is that when you enter the winner's room, you can literally get rocket launchers and guns. With this knowledge in mind, I went to the room that was designed for spectating, glitched out with a pass tool which was very easy to do, and bullied random children. And now we hit a new decade. Early 2010s saw the rise in popularity of Who Killed Obbies or Murder Mystery Obbies, such as Who Killed Mario, who killed Squidward Tentacles, and my favorite, who killed Jerry. Many obbies would be on the front page for a few days, weeks at most, and then would fade into obscurity because at this point in time, literally everybody knew how to make an obby on Roblox. This is mainly because of the copy and paste nature of a lot of these front page obbies. Also, a lot of people were making tutorials on how to make obbies at the time. Along with murder mystery obbies, cart ride games became massively popular around the same exact time. One of the most popular and one of the oldest is from July of 2010 and is cart ride into <sighs> cart ride into SpongeBob which is now content Cart ride games are still popular today, with such examples as Cart Ride Around Used Car Battery. One of the most popular obby games of 2010 is G Fink's The Really Easy Obby, which now has over 300 million visits. While it was created in 2010, it was mostly updated around 2012 to 2017. The original name was The Really Easy Obstacle Course, and it was also created by the same person who now owns Temple of Brick Battle. The two main most popular obbies from 2011 and 2012 are Super Fun Obby and Flood Escape. Super Fun Obby, also known as Monkery Monkery Got Hacked, doesn't really have a confirmed date, but the full final, and also permanently final because the creator got hacked, was released in the summer of 2013, not long before the creator was hacked. The game is also literally unbeatable because of the fact that one of the glitches that was used in a later stage is just not in Roblox anymore. Flood Escape was developed by Crazy Blocks in September of 2011. Flood Escape is exactly what it sounds like, where you're locked in a flooding facility and you have to escape by accomplishing a set of obstacles. The game was massively popular and still is today, 
today, garnering over half a billion visits in just about 10 years. Uh, hello, I am Eve. You might know me as Careful. I make music and I make YouTube. Today I'm here to talk about obstacles. Let's begin. So we touched down in 2013, Cole's Edmund House. We know what Cole's Edmund House is. All of us do. You've heard of it. I've heard of it. My grandma's heard of it. You jump over obstacles to get to the end of the course. Then once you get to the end of the course, you get Edmund. It's kind of self-explanatory. A lot of people used to rage quit when they played Cole's Edmund House because the people that would get to the end first would just kill everyone with Edmund. Like the moment they got it, which was causing the game to have a lot of like dislikes. Like the the game got racial. We reach a point of time in Cole's Edmund House history. People used to go around with bots and would try to crash every single server, making the game mostly unplayable. Okay, so we are now in the month of, what month is that? January, February, March, April, May, June, July. Okay, so we're in the month of July. We touched on in the month of July in 2013. Volcano Escape. You might have heard of that game. The one I'm talking about right now isn't the original. It's actually the second Volcano Escape because the first one was made in 2011. So Volcano Escape 2 was mostly inspired by Flood Escape. Apart from it had community maps this time completely from all over the game, the globe, Brazil. Whatever, bro. Okay, so now we teleport a year ahead. The game on the screen right now is just a random dropper game from 2014. It's still kind of popular. Now we teleport two months ahead. One, two. That's like the second number in the alphabet. No. Megafun will be made in 2009. It's a game that would occasionally evolve every week. It got updates, would turn into a brand new thing. Up until late 2014, when it just became a really long obby and lasted up until 2021. Speedrun 4. We are now in October 2014, almost said 2010. Ignore Speedrun 4 being one of the first major obbies to hit 1 billion visits, which is pretty cool. Here's a little fact about the Speedrun Roblox series thing, whatever you want to call it. 1, 2, and 3 were made by completely different people. Jumping forward to another two months. Platinum Fools. You may have heard of this name. This guy made a lot of incredibly popular obbies throughout 2014 to 2015. This is one of the obbies on the screen right now. This is some random guy playing it. Just a video on. Okay. Last one on the list. We jump forward three years. We touched down in 2017. So we may have heard of Pax Taboo. They had a group where they just made like a bunch of obbies. You wouldn't believe it. Um, They made the obbies where it was like, Scape, Margaret Thatcher doing her backflip. Scape. KSI. These obbies used to be really popular around mid-2017 time-ish. I'm not gonna play any because I don't want to escape um, Prince Philip right now. That's enough from me. That's my segment covered. I'm gonna push you back to the slime, the jit ball, the slap. I'm gonna push you back to slap all the way in 2018, a year ahead from now. Right now, I'm too busy doing the hit the coin challenge. So, um, if anyone's trying to sell me five Bitcoin as well, come through. My Twitter will be at the end of the video. And that is the end of the 2010 to 2017 section. Again, thank you Careful for helping with this video. Her links will be in the description if you enjoyed that part. Now for 2018. For this segment, I'm going to talk about either some of the most massively popular or generally difficult or just most well-produced obbies for each year. 2018 saw the rise of one of the most important obby genres, towers. Towers are literally towers with floors color-coded to indicate their difficulty. Usually the higher you go, the more difficult it will become. The tower genre was coined or at least popularized in March of 2018 with the creation of Kitty's Towers of Hell. Kitty's Towers of Hell was created by Obrin Tune, who was then known as Kitty Cannon. The place was first created in June of 2016 but it was unused and blank until March of 2018, when the earliest tower was added. The game became quite popular at the time, mostly for its excruciating difficulty, its length, and the fact that if you fall from a high height, you may have to restart the entire tower again. In the summer of 2018, Tower of Hell was created by Uwu Pixel, then known as Go Crafter MSG, and Obrentoon, then known as Kitty Cannon, under the group Y Exceptional Studios. This game went on to become not only the most played tower game, but it currently stands as the most popular obby game on Roblox and is also currently the second most popular Roblox game of all time, just between Dreamcraft's Adopt Me and Wolfpack's Brookhaven RP. 
The game does stuff a bit different, where the towers all have 6 or so sections and must be completed in 8 minutes or less. Every time a player completes a tower, the speed of the timer will double like much older games such as Dodge the Teapots of Doom by Clockwork from 2007. In December of 2018, Juke Reese became the co-owner of Kitty's Towers of Hell, and on March 3rd, 2019, the game was deleted. This is because Kitty Cannon, also known as Obrin Tune, wanted to work on bigger and better projects than Kitty's Towers of Hell. The project was passed over to Juke Reese, who then created Juke's Towers of Hell, or Jato. At the time, it was known as Jupiter's Towers of Hell because of Juke's old name being Jupiter 5. In April of 2020, Limitless Studio published the game Tower of Misery. This game was very heavily inspired by Tower of Hell and consists of trying to traverse 5 randomly generated stages in a tower format in 5 minutes or less. The game is also incredibly popular, garnering over 2 billion visits in just under 2 years. On May 17th, 2020, after 4 months of hard work, comes Stairway to Heaven. Not that one, or that one. The game is a mega collab between these six people, and there are three modes, practice, official, and hardcore. The game has a portable checkpoint by clicking the save button in the bottom right corner. You will now spawn wherever you were when you last clicked it. There is a long cooldown depending on which mode you are set to while playing with practice mode having a 2 minute cooldown, official mode having a 30 minute cooldown, and hardcore mode having zero checkpoints at all. The obby is mostly known for its ridiculously high difficulty, with one of the creators even stating that it takes even the best of players a total of 2 hours to pass the first 10% of the obby. Much like how towers became incredibly popular in 2018, difficulty charts became incredibly popular in 2020. Difficulty charts are much like towers in the way each portion is colored according to their difficulty. The only difference is that it's not in a tower shape, with one of the earliest being Polychrome's difficulty chart obby, which was created in July of 2020. It has over 130 stages and 8 million plays. By far one of the most popular difficulty chart obbies, is the no jumping difficulty chart which was created by Killy's group in October of 2020. The obby has over 116 million plays as of right now and over 180 stages and now we hit December 2021. Thank you everyone for watching this video. This video took a very long time to make as working on it started in early November. This video would absolutely not be possible without careful. Her socials and links will be in the description. Check her out, she makes some very great stuff on both YouTube and SoundCloud. My next video will be the best of 2021 video, which will just contain some of the funniest clips that have come out of my channel in the last year. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Barbecue bacon burger.